Hello, and today I'm going to be taking, replacing the RAM on a Toshiba Satellite 3000. Sorry for the noisy background, but I'm not going to be using a screwdriver. I'm going to be using a knife. I don't have a screwdriver. Before you take apart anything on a computer, you have to touch some sort of metal to get the electricity out of you. Um, okay, now we're going to do this one second. You have to take... You have to slide this and push on the CD drive to get it out. And slide the lock and push on the battery to get it out. One second. Okay, now that I have that done, I can take them out, set them aside. Okay, now. I'll be taking a look inside the computer. You unscrew these, set them aside where you won't lose them. Okay. You unfold this, set it aside. Now you see the inside. It has one stick of 128 megabytes of RAM. And right here is where you can put another stick. To take them out, there's a little bar here and a little bar right there. You push them out, which can be kind of tricky to do. If your kids maybe get a parent to help you. One minute. Okay, after you push out the screws or the little clamps, you'll see this. It comes out like that, and you just pull it out. Set that one aside. Grab the new one. Here's my new stick. So what you do is you just slide this in to the right spot, push it in nice and tight, and push it down, and it should make a clicking noise, and it should be nice and tight. Sometimes if it's not put in right, it will when you try to start up your computer, it will make a beeping noise. I'm trying to learn how to stop that. Okay, now we put back in the screws. Don't make them too tight, or you can break it. Okay. Screw them in, not too tight, but tight enough to hold it nice. Sometimes they're a bugger to get in. They're not always easy. Okay, now that that's nice and tight, we can take the battery and slide it in, and take the CD drive and slide it in. Now let's see if this works. Start it up. There. I don't know if it's going to work or not.
try this one more time. I think the battery's dead. Thanks, you for watching.